Well, good morning to the uh, shipmates of the Elm and uh, the uh, folks that will be observing this uh, commemoration by video. Uh, we're here today to uh, commemorate the deployment of buoy 44066, which is actually uh, near the spot where one of the Texas towers that was established for the 4604 Support Squadron back in the 1950s uh, was lost at, at sea due to a storm. And I just have a commemorative description of the event to read, and then we have a short ceremony uh, to um, remember the folks that were killed, other service members that were killed during that storm. But this citation of remembrance is dedicated to the veterans of Texas Towers who served our country in the important role as airmen in the 4604th Support Squadron in the capacity as guardians of early homeland security from 1955 to 1963. In the course of duty, 28 air and servicemen lost their lives in the tower collapse during an unpredictable Atlantic Nor'easter off the coast of Long Island while on duty aboard Texas Tower Number 4 on January 15, 1961. Their strength, courage, and dedication to their country and families will never be forgotten. The debt of gratitude we owe these men and their fellow airmen who served on Texas Tower Number 4, who braved harsh weather conditions and dutifully protected American shores, will not be forgotten by the citizens of our country nor of our coastal communities. Their collective valor and sacrifice is a tribute to our cherished American ideals of freedom and democracy, and we salute them with the naming of the buoy 46 or 44006 at the Texas Tower 4 buoy in their honor. And I'd especially like to uh, recognize the work of the uh, uh, Makura organization for the commemorative bottles that will be deployed with this that have a description of this event in it as well as the wreath that was uh, provided by the um, Freeport Tuna Club in commemoration of this event. And Chief, you can call the ship's company to attention, please. Ship's company, Ten Hut! Okay, cool. 